Hello students, today we are going to do a very interesting activity. As you have heard the name perpendicular bisector. I know you have done this, how you can draw the perpendicular bisector using compass and ruler. But now the interesting thing is we are going to draw the perpendicular bisector, not going to draw actually, we are just going to find the perpendicular bisector of a line segment without any compass, without any ruler, not going to use these, okay, and we can definitely find it. So let's start. First of all, you just take a paper, like as I have a square craft paper, you can see. And for this, you just fold it once. You can fold it from the middle or you can fold it from somewhere else also. I'm folding it from middle. Now, after folding, you can just see that this is the crease. We can consider this crease as a line segment and we can write its name. Let's name this line segment as A, B. Fine. Now, of this line segment, we are going to find out the perpendicular bisector. Now, I am just taking any dot, any dot and now folding it properly and just pressing the dot because it is a gel pen dot. So definitely it gives an impression on the other side. You can see we have an impression this side and side. The initial dot which we have taken, let us name it as X. And the second dot which we get after folding the paper is X dash. Now, just fold the paper along these dots to form a line. You can see I am folding in front of you. It's very easy to get a line segment which is crossing this these dots. You can see. Now, one line segment we have made starting that is AB. Then I have just make a line segment out of like joining these two dots X and X dash. Also, they both the line segment they meeting at a common point. The name of this point let us take as O. Now, can you tell me this X and X dash are equidistant from O or not? So for this we need ruler, I am showing you, let us measure that they are equidistant from this or not. See this is 5.4 around and if I am going to measure it, this is also similar 5.4, you can just clearly see it. So it means this X and X dash are equidistant from O, means O is the midpoint of the line segment X x dash what does it mean it means this acts as an bisector or you can say the ab is having the bisector as x x dash what is the meaning of bisector means the line segment which divides the another line segment in two parts words bisect bi means to sect means cutting okay so bisector so it becomes a bisector now, what about the angle 90 degree? We need to measure this and this angle. Okay, any of the four angles you can measure. If they are 90 degree, it means this is a perpendicular also. So, let us measure it. It is of 90 degree or not. I am just coinciding the point O and uh, with this dot and just putting this on the line segment x x dash now you can see clearly that this is the crease and which is on the 90 degree so it means these all angles are of 90 degree so what is x x dash so it becomes the perpendicular bisector of given line a b now this is your work you need to do this activity and just paste it in your file using any glue stick as i am using favicol you can see so you can paste it in your file and then one more work that I am giving you is you need to write the observation. Simple two things you need to write is 
ox is equals to over x dash this is a question mark for you in second thing you need to tell is the perpendicular bisector of a line joining two points is same as the axis of symmetry means yes or no what i'm asking is like whenever you have fold like this x and x dash are kind of mirror images and ab is x as a mirror so can we say this perpendicular bisector acts as a line of symmetry also of the line ab of the line segment ab even so you need to answer these two questions i hope you enjoy this activity so do it and enjoy and learn maths with fun